Hey guys, it's me and Tony. Today, I'm going to be talking about Donizetti's Lucrezia Borgia, which I saw live from Deutsche Oper Berlin in Berlin, Germany. Now, this was the first time I ever set foot in this opera house because I've been to other opera houses before, like New York City Opera House, the Metropolitan Opera House, the Royal Opera House and English National Opera. And when I saw Deutsche Oper Berlin and even set foot in this opera house, I thought to myself, this is actually my favorite place to be in Germany. And on a random note, at first I was going to see Carmen. Unfortunately, all the tickets were sold out, and the next event was Lucrezia Borgia. So I decided, okay, maybe I'd like to see that. Are there any cheap seats? Unfortunately, the cheap seats were sold out. So I decided just to get my ticket for 66 euros and it actually had one of the best seats in the house I was seated in row 12 seat 13 and to be very honest it was worth it it was absolutely worth it because I was able to see the orchestra and the singers and the chorus now the version of Lucrezia Borgia is not really a staged version. It's a concert version, which means there are no sets, no props, no costumes whatsoever, just the conductor, the orchestra, the chorus, and the singers. Now, the conductor of this very event was Andri Yurkovich. I can't really tell if I'm pronouncing his name right, but nonetheless, I have this program to help me. I don't really, I don't really know if I could pronounce everybody's name correctly, but I'm just using this for reference. And he did a fantastic job keeping the orchestra synchronized. But there are some instances where he should have just helped some of the singers that had like trouble in the low notes. Maybe that's just how I see it. But overall, he did a great job in keeping the orchestra synchronized and it was worth listening to. The chorus master was William Spaulding. He did an absolute job in keeping the chorus synchronized and like I said it was really a great chorus as well. Now Let's head to the singers. I'm sure I'm going to find myself talking a lot more in this area. First off, we have Edita Gruberova in the title role of Lucrezia Borgia. That's right, the main anti heroine of this opera. And let me say this. At age 66, she is able to sound magnificent. After all these years, she still sounds so magnificent. She was able to convey all of the emotions that Lucrezia has, like despair, anger, joy, love, and what more can I say? And when Guru Barova sings softly, it was simply, simply beautiful. It felt like, it felt like 
like it felt like heaven it was so heavenly hearing her sing so softly when she has to sing softly and hearing all those high notes that she is so well known for she does a fantastic job portraying Lucrezia I mean it she is absolutely fantastic and I wish her a lot of luck in her future and let's hope that she will still be with us singing and singing and singing so what more can I say about Grubarova that hasn't been said she is absolutely a vocal tour de force and let's hope that she will still be singing to this very day and yeah that's all I can say I have nothing but praise for Mrs. Grubarova she does a fantastic job I even basically screamed brava because she was just she was great really she was absolutely great she was able to she was able to hold her own and she was able to convey every emotion and she sang beautifully let's put it at that now we have Pavel Breslik singing the role of Gennaro his singing was fabulous it was fabulous it was spot-on fabulous there were no cracks there were no faults it was absolutely pure faultless singing all throughout now what more can I say about Mr. Breslick that hasn't been said I just love it I just love hearing his voice and then we go to Don Alfonso sung by Alex Esposito and let me tell you my god is this guy amazing he is such an amazing actor and singer he has such a velvety velvety voice and he's such a great actor there are times I feel so speechless just by seeing him on stage sure he is well known for doing comic roles but this is just an example of how versatile he can be I mean what more can I say his Don Alfonso was absolutely threatening and I enjoyed his performance it was just the greatest performance I've seen from Mr. Esposito and I hope that he gets more dramatic roles here and there and the way he was able to emote just makes me so thrilled the way he was able to to move his to like move his whole self around and totally give in to this character it's just so worthwhile it was really worthwhile seeing Esposito really let loose what more can I say except bravo Mr. Esposito you really did a fantastic job singing and acting the role of Don Alfonso seriously th this guy is probably one of the best Don Alfonso's of today now let's head to the Mafio Orsini Yana Kurutsova now there are some 
places where her low notes aren't really that audible because of the orchestra. But her top was absolutely the most worthwhile notes I have ever heard. Her high notes were absolutely amazing. Whether she sings a high A, a high B, or even a high C, it's absolutely those notes that she has that she has sung were absolutely indescribable. And she was able to pretty much act the part pretty well. But I feel like her biggest strong points were her was her singing especially when it comes to her high notes. Now, those were absolutely amazing notes to hear, and I really congratulate Miss Kurutsova for her portrayal of the nobleman, Mafia Orsini. The other singers were also fantastic, especially in the minor roles of the other gentlemen. And Special kudos goes to Alvaro Zambrano, a young Chilean tenor, who sang the part of Rustighello, the henchman to Don Alfonso. He was a great singer. He's a really great singer. And I liked his voice. It was really pleasant to hear. And I honestly hope that he will get bigger roles one of these days. And I could see a bright, a bright future with him. Now, overall, my experience with the concert version of Lucrezia Borgia was absolutely positive. The singing was absolutely top-notch. Every singer gave his and or her all and the results were absolutely phenomenal. And the conducting, so to say, was really worth a listen. Granted, the con granted Mr. Yurkovich could have just lowered his orchestra down to give a little allowance for the singers to even be more audible in their low notes, but that would just be nitpicking. Still, I would have to say it was such a great experience singing, excuse me, not singing, seeing Edita Gruberova live on stage. It was the greatest experience I had. Now, go ahead and watch this opera if you haven't. You could still check it out. There's a link down there that I posted on the description box if you want to check it out. If you want to go ahead and see it for yourselves. And to close, yes. I know I really wanted an autograph from Edita Grubarova. Unfortunately, she only gives auto she only would give autographs on May 1st because on those days she's really busy. But that's fine because I was able to see her live and that was pretty much the best experience that I had so far being here in Berlin. So and I'm also going to turn 21 tomorrow, so I hope to have a prosperous birthday tomorrow. I'm not trying to sound vain or anything, but still, I, still, I hope that my birthday will, go, will really go well, especially that I'm going to be 21 tomorrow. So without further ado... I hope you all enjoyed watching this vlog. I know there are times I stuttered. I do apologize. I do apologize if I said some words wrong, but what can you do? This was all unscripted anyway. So, check you later. Bye.